In our second reaction, we're going to look at the reaction of a carboxylic acid with a strong base. The products will be a salt and water, and this salt will have an organic anion. So we're going to begin with a carboxylic acid. So I'm going to use a two carbon carboxylic acid this time. We're going to react with a strong base, so we're going to use sodium hydroxide. The hydrogen from the carboxylic acid and the hydroxide from the strong base will give us water. The carboxylic acid remains unchanged up to the functional group. But here, where it loses the hydrogen ion and H positive, we're left behind with a negative ion. The sodium from the sodium hydroxide, having lost a hydroxide one negative, leaves behind the sodium one positive. And this is a salt, a neutral ionic compound we have an anion, which is organic, and the cation, which is the sodium from the sodium hydroxide. So it's a salt with an organic anion. In this reaction, we had a two carbon carboxylic acid, and it was reacting with sodium hydroxide. So these model kits don't show ionic compounds very well, but we're gonna improvise a little bit. So we'll use the green to represent the sodium and sodium hydroxide as an ionic compound has a positive and a negative ion that attract each other. So we're not going to use a covalent bond to link them. We'll just remember that they're attracted by an ionic bond by the electrostatic force. So because the carboxylic acid is an acid it can ionize and lose a hydrogen ion, an H positive. The H positive reacts with the OH negative and makes a water. And because we removed an H positive from the carboxylic acid, this piece is left with a negative charge. So this becomes our anion, which then attracts the sodium by an ionic bond, the electrostatic force of attraction.